Forgive is to set the prisoner free and most of you know this quote and discover that the prisoner was you. Forgiving other people. To forgive is to set the prisoner free and to discover the prisoner was you. In Matthew chapter 18 verse 34 says the following and his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he would pay all that was due to him. In Matthew chapter 18 Jesus tells a story about a king who had a servant and the servant owed him 10,000 talents. Now when you say talents you're like man I like a talent 10,000 a lot great and we don't understand what 10,000 talents is. I'm going to tell you in historians and scholars they did a study and they tried to calculate in consistency with our wages today. 10,000 talents is symbolic of 200,000 years worth of labor. Now I don't know what did that servant do to take 200,000 years worth of labor from his master. I don't know if he burned his palaces. I don't know if he took his checking book and just went and I don't know. What, did, what can you do to be able to owe somebody 200,000 years of labor? I don't know. But definitely a lot of damage, financial damage he did to the king. And the servant comes to the king and says this, which is ridiculous. He says, be patient with me. I will pay you back. <laughs> really? What, do you believe in karma or what? How are you going to pay it back? You're only going to live 70, 80 years and it's going to take you 200,000 years. He says, be patient with me. So this guy is completely crazy and the king looks at that and this is very interesting the king does not get mad he gets compassionate he says forgives him the man gets out and says well this is awesome no payments the interest didn't get reduced you know it wasn't like hey no you're not gonna pay for a year and then no completely free debt 200,000 years of work the damage it left on the king he's willing to recompensate it by his own work and this man leaves and finds a man who owes him a hundred denarii a hundred denarii is worth of four months of labor he finds a man so just got forgiven 200,000 years of labor, finds a man who owes him four months of labor. The Bible says took him by the throat and starts choking him and says pay me back and the man says of course give me time and the guy wants to get the payment back and locks him up in prison. How do you expect a man to pay you back if you put him in prison? Ask the guy. When the king heard that, the Bible says, listen very carefully, the king got angry. They're interesting. He wasn't angry when the guy owed him something he couldn't pay. He was angry when the guy didn't forgive someone of a lesser crime and he was forgiven. You know what really angers God? Not your sin. It's how you react to other people's sin. You think many times what we think is God is angry at me because I've fallen. Yes, if you forgive, if you come broken, God will, God will have compassion. If you come and say, God, I messed it up, God will have compassion. But when God really gets angry, is when someone else sins against you and you do not offer the same thing you've been offered to yourself. Maybe today you feel like what they've done is so big but it never compares to 200,000 years of labor that you and I have done to God and we must choose to forgive. When you forgive you become free. Forgiveness does not let the other person off the hook, it lets you off the hook.